walking on water is the ultimate gravity-defying maneuver, but ripple bugs make it look easy. These incredible insects spend their lives standing, skating, and even jumping across the surfaces of rivers and streams. Much like professional figure skaters, ripple bugs can skate at incredible speed and turn on a dime. But unlike professional figure skaters, ripple bugs can perform these astonishing feats all day long and without breaking a sweat. So how is this possible? It's a question that biologists and physicists have been asking for years. But scientists at UC Berkeley say they finally found the secret to ripple bugs' athletic prowess a unique feature that could inspire the next generation of aquatic robots. A few years ago, a scientist at UC Berkeley named Victor Ortega Jimenez made a surprising discovery. These water striders, when they are passing through these bubbles, they are producing these beautiful patterns of vortices that resembles more like a flying wing when, when in the air. They are moving so fast. I was fascinated with how these water striders were moving so fast, you know, that they look like an animal uh, flying at the surface of water. Victor studies the many ways in which animals interact with water, but you're not going to find any fish in his lab. And we discovered how hummingbirds fly in the rain, shaking their bodies in midair to remove all the, the water droplets. He also figured out why flamingos do those cute little dances when they eat. They are doing all this motion with their feet and their beaks you know, when they are chattering to produce vortices. And these vortices are traps that they help them to catch prey. For the past five years, Victor has been on a mission to figure out what makes ripple bugs such impressive athletes. Ripple bugs are tiny water striders that live in creeks or fast flowing waters. They spend their lives moving all the time, day and night. They are always moving. So they are just resting occasionally when they are molting or when they are feeding. But they are always moving, so they have a great endurance. Ripple bugs can skate across the water at an astonishing 120 body lengths per second. And to match that, a six foot tall figure skater would need to skate over 400 miles per hour. Ripple bugs can also turn more than 90 degrees in 50 milliseconds. To unlock the secret behind the ripple bugs' skating skills, Victor first had to understand how these insects moved across the water. The other aspect that we are working with is with the how to visualize small animals. And in here, with this uh, power supply, what we are doing is producing electrolysis, so we are breaking the water molecules to produce small bubbles of uh, hydrogen and oxygen. And by doing that, you can see some of the particles that are getting into the, in the fluid, and we can visualize the vortices that are produced by the water striders. High-speed imagery revealed that these bugs can balance atop the water because their front and back legs are covered in thousands of tiny hydrophobic water-repelling hairs. When they want to move, they stick their middle legs into the water, deploying oar-like structures whose hydrophilic properties allow them to penetrate the water surface with ease. These structures also enable ripple bugs to break and change direction with minimal effort. It's like a small wing, because when you observe in the microscope, it looks like a feather, actually, you know? When the fan touches the water, it expands in 10 milliseconds. That, that's faster than a blink of an eye. When I remove it again, it collapses in the same time. Having a built-in set of oars, a structure not seen in other species of water striders, allows the ripple bugs to move faster and more efficiently than similar surface-dwelling insects. In one experiment, Victor removed the fans from a group of ripple bugs and found the insect couldn't move as quickly or turn as sharply. What's more, when Victor exposed the middle legs of deceased ripple bugs to water, the fan opened instantly, proving these fans don't require any energy to deploy. One of the implications is that if they are rowing all day long, so if they are using the muscle every time, it will be very costly, you know? And by reducing that cost, they are making more efficient the rowing. Their self-deploying and self-storing oars save ripple bugs a tremendous amount of energy while making them fast and highly maneuverable. And it turns out, such traits are highly sought after in the world of robotics. 
So when Victor discovered the ingenious architecture of the ripple bug's middle legs, he passed his findings along to a team of roboticists at Ajo University in South Korea. Using Victor's findings, this tech-savvy team designed and built a ripple bug robot. With the robot, the team was able to confirm Victor's findings that self-morphing fans improved thrust, braking, and maneuverability. Not just the biomechanics, the fluid dynamics, but also trying to integrate the, the micro-robotics to understand better the biology. These robots may be used for different technological applications. For example, monitoring of the water conditions, of the environmental conditions, of sensing the temperature of, in, in rivers. Or, or streams, but also they can be used for, uh, for rescue. But one of the challenges still is uh, to make these micro robots that, that move at the interface to deal with turbulence you know, and fast flowing flows. And I think uh, this robot may be the solution. Nature has found a solution to many of the problems facing our world. And Victor says we only need to study it to find them. This, uh, a study started from an observation, and that observation just led to this discovery. So there is so many wonders in the world that we don't know, but I think observation is key, and I invite all people to, to be more curious, you know, and see outside things that are very uh, tiny or big, but with, uh, with this wonder you know, of what are they doing, how they are doing that.